Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the Godot MIDI player uh, for Godot 4. I don't know what's different to the version in Godot 3. And because there are non-existent tutorials about this add-on and the wiki isn't really helpful, I decided and some other people on Reddit said I should make a tutorial maybe. And now I'm gonna do one. So, first of all, you're gonna create a project, blah blah blah, and then you go into the asset library. So, in the library, you search for MIDI, and then you should get Godot MIDI Player for Godot Engine 4. Download it. For me, it's in German because I forgot to change the language in Godot or Godot. No, so it's gonna tell a pass error. I don't know. It is still working. So, after that, you create a new scene, call it test, and connect two other uh, scenes. It's the ADSR and the MIDI player. Open it and you will have it here. ADSR, you're gonna do nothing except maybe call the bus. So in MIDI player, you can choose a file and the sound font. I already have two files prepared. So let's go into the file manager. Oh, what's going on with my computer? I have the Tetris. Uh, I have a Tetris. There, I can't talk. I have the Tetris music ready, and an uh, a sound font file. It won't be shown in here, but it is there. The sound fonts you can get on many sites. Just be sure you use a copyright free one if you sell your game or I don't know. So if you want to see a MIDI file, I have it from BitMIDI. You can download free MIDI files. I got the Tetris main theme and opened it on signal.versal.app. And here you can see there are two channels, one and two. It is channel. Uh, 0 and 1 in Godot itself. So, why it is important, I'm gonna tell you right now. You're gonna create a script. Call it test. And then you take the signal from the MIDI player, MIDI event channel, and connect. So, you can instantly pre uh, do print uh, hello. On every MIDI event, it's will it will print hello. Oh, sounds easy, right? But uh, just take a look what happens. So we're gonna choose the Tetris theme for the MIDI file. Sound font. We take the upright piano. Small bright. I don't know. We're gonna delete that. And just try it out and. We will see right here. Oh, I forgot to say it. It needs to be played. So it's printing often, very often here. Yeah. You can see how often it is printing. And we don't print, uh, we don't activate it on every note. Oh, not on every note. It is playing everything right now. We only want it to be activated on this notes. Like, I'm gonna mute this channel. That's all it should play. So, I'm gonna save it. Just rename, copy this over. Re add. Just add the icon real quick. So to see what channel is playing right now, we're gonna make channel punct number. And we start it and see down here what channel are playing. One fifteen zero okay. It uses the channel one fifteen and zero. I don't know what channel fifteen is because it doesn't have fifteen channels. 
but we know it's zero and channel one so because it's n like an array i guess so we're saying if channel punkt number up nop nop no If channel number one, print the event type. Channel, yeah, channel. channel. I can't write uh, channel. This should be right. Now we're going to see what events are there. Okay, it's 128 and 144. And there are ones like... 176 and 224 but this is the important part now it's it's uh, time to figure out what event type are we gonna have because you don't see anywhere what is the event type so the thing that worked for me is if event punkt type punkt dot event dot type equals just gonna say 128 the uh the, the wait 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 uh our variable action equals zero so if action equals zero icon punkt global position uh, dot x plus equals 50 action equals 1 elif action equals 1 just make it minus 50 Now we're gonna see if it's working. So we take event type and channel number one. Oops, did I... Oh yeah, I forgot. Action equals zero. You see, it's working, but not uh, perfectly. So we're gonna try again. 144 was the next one, right? So we're gonna try try event type 144. This looks like it's working. Um, that's the way you can figure out what channel number and what event type and everything should happen. What you also can do is, I know it's self-explain, it's uh, self-explainable, self-explainable, no, uh, you can create a tween. And tween punkt. Uh, in property, say the icon, and say the global the global position vector two. So global position right now is two seventeen three two three. And the time take 0 0.2 seconds. Same, we are copy this one. We are deleting this and this. And of course, you should move uh, somewhere else, like to 600. Let's see if it's working. Uh, what's the matter right now? 
icon is there. Oh, yeah, okay. I forgot the... In German, it's called Gänsefüßchen. And that's how you move something to the rhythm of the music or to the channels you like to want it to play to. Um, before I forget about it, go to project, project settings. No, no, no. Uh, export settings. Create a new one like for Windows. Then in resources, you're gonna add um, star dot midi and dot uh, what is the other file called uh, the, 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 the midi midi new sf2 engine dot sf2 so it's gonna export these two files you need these files if it's if you don't export them you don't have you don't have music i hope this tutorial is working for you it's Normally I don't do tutorials and don't speak English. For my work I need to speak English. But it's still weird. It's the third time I try to record this. And I hope it will help you. If not, let me know. And maybe when I did the mistake or forget something, please tell me. I wish you a wonderful day. Have fun with your projects. See you later.